In 1950, a peculiar film called Harvey emerged, bringing laughter, shock, and sadness in equal measure. This classic movie revolves around Elwood P. Dowd, a man whose best friend is an invisible six-foot-three rabbit. The story takes unexpected turns, prompting you to wonder is there a particular scene or moment that has left a lasting impact on you. As you watch, be prepared for a roller coaster of emotions, from hilarious antics to surprisingly poignant moments. This movie has a knack for delivering unexpected punches that linger in your memory. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this film? Now, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Harvey. What moment made you laugh uncontrollably, gasp in surprise, or shed a tear? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Keep watching for more funny, shocking, and sad facts about Harvey. Your own experiences might just be the next fascinating addition to the tale. Harvey, a classic film that premiered in 1950, is a delightful comedy drama directed by Henry Coster. The story revolves around Elwood P. Dowd, played by James Stewart, a genial and eccentric man whose best friend is an invisible six-foot-tall rabbit. Elwood's sister, Veta Louise Simmons, becomes increasingly concerned about his peculiar behavior and decides to have him committed to a mental institution. However, her plan goes awry, leading to a series of humorous and heartwarming events. Set in a charming small town, the film captures the whimsical nature of the interactions with the unseen Harvey. The characters find themselves entangled in a mix of confusion, misunderstandings, and moments of genuine warmth. The narrative skillfully explores the thin line between sanity and eccentricity, questioning the true definition of normalcy. The main characters, including Elwood and Veda, are portrayed with depth and authenticity, contributing to the film's enduring appeal. Josephine Hull, who played Veda, won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her outstanding performance. The movie itself received widespread acclaim for its unique premise, witty dialogue, and heartening message about the importance of acceptance. Harvey has stood the test of time, becoming a beloved classic that continues to resonate with audiences. Its success lies in its ability to blend humor and heart, making it a timeless piece of cinematic storytelling. A lighthearted exploration of friendship, acceptance, and the power of imagination, the film remains a must-watch for those seeking a delightful escape into a world where an invisible rabbit can bring joy and understanding. Harvey, a 1950 film directed by Henry Coster, left an indelible mark on the world of cinema, influencing subsequent TV shows, movies, and media. The movie's unique premise centered around Elwood P. Dowd and his invisible companion, a six-foot, three-inch rabbit, captured the imagination of audiences and creators alike. In the realm of TV shows, the impact is evident in the emergence of characters with eccentric or unconventional friends. The idea of an unseen companion offering guidance or creating humorous situations has become a recurring theme in various shows. Writers and producers drew inspiration from the dynamic between Elwood and his extraordinary friend, exploring the comedic and poignant possibilities of such relationships. Similarly, in movies that followed, we can observe the influence on storytelling and character development. The theme of embracing eccentricity and finding joy in unconventional friendships has resonated through the years. The movie's ability to blend comedy and heartwarming moments has inspired filmmakers to explore the human experience through the lens of the extraordinary. During the same era, there were other shows with quirky characters and unconventional storylines, but none quite like this one. While some ventured into the realm of whimsy, they often lacked the depth and charm that Harvey brought to the screen. Its ability to balance humor and heartfelt moments set it apart from its contemporaries. Comparing it to similar shows of the time reveals its unique contribution to the cultural landscape. The movie's success lies not only in its intriguing premise, but also in its execution, thanks to stellar performances and a script that captures the essence of human connection. While others may have explored eccentricity, Harvey stands as a testament to the enduring power of genuine and compassionate storytelling. In conclusion, the movie has become a touchstone for creators seeking to infuse their work with a blend of humor and heart. Its influence is evident in the way subsequent TV shows, movies, and media approach storytelling and character dynamics. By embracing the unconventional and celebrating the beauty of unique connections, Harvey has carved a place for itself in the annals of cinematic history. In conversation with Mrs. Chumley, Elwood characterizes Harvey as a puka, 
a mythical creature found in both Irish and Nordic folklore. Known as a harbinger of either favorable or unfavorable news, the puka can manifest in diverse animal forms and occasionally in a human guise. Typically, it is affable and exceedingly helpful. Originating from Celtic folklore, the puka, also referred to as puka, puka, fuka, fuka, or puka, is recognized as a spirit or ghost. These beings, believed to bring both good and bad luck, could either assist or impede rural and maritime communities. Shapeshifters, pukas could adopt the appearance of black horses, goats, or hares, and sometimes even take on a human form with animalistic features like ears or a tail. For the film adaptation, Universal International secured the rights for $750,000. In an intricate deal, Mary Chase and Brock Pemberton, author and producer of the play respectively, were slated to receive $100,000 annually for a decade, along with a share in the film's profits. The film's commencement was contractually postponed until the play concluded. Unfortunately, Pemberton passed away in March 1950, prior to the film's production. Notably, James Stewart's character, Elwood P. Dowd, though occasionally labeled an alcoholic, only consumes alcohol once in the entire film. This restraint is attributed to the Hollywood production code of the time, which prohibited depicting him getting drunk on screen. Two decades post-release, James Stewart reprised the role of Elwood P. Dowd in a successful Broadway revival in 1970 featuring Helen Hayes as his sister. Stewart and Hayes later revisited their roles for a televised adaptation in 1972, as well as a stage revival in London in 1975. A second portrait of Harvey and Elwood was commissioned to reflect Stewart's aging for these later portrayals. The enduring tale of Harvey and Elwood transcended the screen, finding a renewed life on stage, showcasing the timeless allure of this classic narrative. Ranked 7 on the American Film Institute's list of the 10 greatest fantasy films in June 2008, the 1950 movie Harvey gained enduring acclaim. James Stewart, who portrayed Elwood P. Dowd, had previously played the role on stage during Frank Fay's absence. Director Henry Coster, occupied with his next project in London during the U.S. premiere, view with the film alongside James Stewart and Marlene Dietrich in a London Universal Office projection room. The film's recognition for its fantasy genre excellence remains significant in cinematic history. James Stewart's enduring connection with the film Harvey extends beyond its initial release. In 1990, he recorded an introduction for its VHS release, contributing to its significant sales that year. Stewart's influence went beyond the screen, impacting the film's visuals. His suggestion led the director to widen many shots, ensuring Harvey remained a prominent presence in the frame. The collaboration between director Henry Coster and James Stewart was marked by seamless cooperation. Coster expressed that working with Stewart was among the most pleasant experiences in his career. The duo exhibited minimal friction, focusing on ambition, craftsmanship, and precision. Stewart's commitment and talent added a layer of excellence to the project. Always the first on set, he embodied professionalism. The film's success is not only attributed to its fantasy genre, but also to the effective partnership between Coster and Stewart. Their collaboration contributed to the timeless allure of Harvey, reaching audiences through various mediums over the years. In the behind-the-scenes camaraderie of the film Harvey, an amusing tradition unfolded. As a jest, the cast and crew would regularly set a chair at the lunch table reserved for the titular character. A whimsical touch to the production, they'd even order a meal for him. James Stewart, who portrayed Elwood P. Dowd, found a particular fondness for the role. In numerous interviews, he openly declared it his favorite among his cinematic endeavors. His connection with the character surpassed the screen, echoing in his genuine admiration for the affable Elwood. However, Stewart acknowledged the complexity of the film's dynamics in an interview. Surprisingly, he claimed that Josephine Hull faced the most challenging role. She had to convincingly believe and simultaneously disbelieve in the existence of the invisible rabbit, adding a unique layer to her performance. These anecdotes offer a glimpse into the lightheartedness behind the scenes and the actor's personal connections to the film's characters. Such behind-the-scenes moments and reflections contribute to the enduring charm of Harvey, showcasing the camaraderie and dedication that shaped its memorable production.
Josephine Hall, and Jesse White, pivotal figures in the original Broadway production of Harvey, brought their characters to life before the film adaptation. Hall, originating her role on Broadway, faced the challenging task of balancing belief and disbelief in the invisible rabbit, an element she executed seamlessly. White, present in both the Broadway and later stage productions, maintained his connection to the show over different mediums. Mary Chase's Harvey premiered on Broadway in 1944, gracing the 48th Street Theater for a remarkable 1,775 performances. The play secured its place in history by earning the Pulitzer Prize in Drama in 1945, a testament to its enduring impact. Despite James Stewart's towering height of 6'4", his portrayal of Elwood P. Dowd had him constantly looking up to his invisible friend, stated to be 6'3", 12 tall in the movie. In a notable twist, Stewart, envisioning the character as 6'8", opted for a unique perspective, but this adjustment remained unreflected in the play's script. The enduring legacy of Harvey extends beyond its initial theatrical success. Stewart's commitment to the film influenced its visual composition, with widened shots ensuring the invisible character's prominence in the frame. The seamless collaboration between Stewart and director Henry Coster, marked by minimal friction, craftsmanship, and precision, played a pivotal role in the film's success. Amidst the behind-the-scenes camaraderie, a charming tradition emerged a chair reserved for the invisible character at the lunch table accompanied by an ordered meal. Stewart, who openly declared Elwood P. Dowd as his favorite cinematic role, shared insights into the lighthearted moments and the complexities faced by Hall. In conclusion, the intricate web of connections from Broadway to film and the collaborative efforts of the cast and crew contribute to the timeless allure of Harvey, showcasing the dedication that shaped its memorable production.